Well, we can't really top that intro, so I wasn't going to try to. Folks, good afternoon and welcome to Beatrice in the old city auditorium for the Mudecus Ch Championship Saturday. We are ready for the boys' B division championship, Exeter Milligan and Southern getting ready to do battle. Thanks for joining us on strivesports.com. My name is Eric Allgood. Austin Penfield is up here, but not just me and Austin, but we have got the entire crew of Johnson County Central, Marcus Shear and the kids all helping out. Sam is with us up here on the microphone. Sam, feel free to jump in here anytime, man. All right. We, we, got, uh, we got a long day, five games on our schedule for broadcasting today. So we'll, we'll take it easy as we build to the climax of the A Division Boys and Girls Championships. And I will apologize in advance as the starters and, um, and, and lineups are being introduced. There's a lot more kids on Southern's bench right now than what they have listed in the program. And I will admit to uh, doing a bad job of, of broadcaster, I, and I didn't go get those other names. So we might, might be uh, calling mystery numbers uh, after a while. We'll see what happens. Southern in Wymore, Nebraska, in the black jerseys, and Exeter Milligan in the white. Exeter Milligan 11-2 on their season. Losses to Heartland, who is still undefeated after a win earlier this week over Fillmore Central. And then a loss at Diller Odell, 55 to 40, but uh, quality wins over Deschler. Uh, that's moving up in the ranks as a shot was put up and a rebound there for Max Zeleny. Uh, so a move up there, uh, a win over Osceola. Uh, East Butler is, uh, was coming off a, a, a D2 foot, or D1 football title. Uh, Nebraska Lutheran is a very tough uh, D1 matchup for anybody. I uh, got quality wins over Alma, Shelby Rising City. Uh, and here at the Mudecas tournament. That rebound going to stay here, by the way. In the Mudecas tournament in the B division, wins over Meridian, 58-29, and over Johnson County Central, 57-49. It was Johnson County Central that just won uh, the third place in the B division. Uh, they beat Pawnee City uh, as that game wrapped up just a little before 1 o'clock. So here we are uh, for today's starting game. For the Southern Raiders, they are 8-5 and five on their season under head coach Zach Emerson. Uh, started the season with three straight losses at Palmyra to Johnson County Central and at Tri-County as that three is put up and good by Trevin Sadoff. And uh, then it was three straight wins over Deschler, HDRS, and Friend. A loss to Nebraska Christian, but then wins over Thayer Central, Parkview Christian. A loss to Freeman, a win over Wilbur. And then here at the uh, Mudecas Tournament, it's been wins over Lewiston and Pawnee City, 54-35 and 39-29. Uh, their two games in the B Division. So here we are in the B Division Boys Championship game. Extra Milligan crashing the glass well. And you get a good look at a near steal on the far side there for Trierneck. Setting things up is Eric Olson. Over to the right side he goes. That's Seth Maxson a pass though lost underneath. And here come the Raiders of Southern. Lined up the three was no good by Drake Adams. And here come the Timberwolves. Olsen down the lane. Nice pass. And that's Murphy, but can't connect on the layup. And the rebound for Trownick. We saw that a little bit last night with uh, Johnson Brock and Freeman on the A division side that uh, Johnson Brock had some opportunities early in the second quarter. They were down at the end of the first, but had some opportunities in the second to uh, hang with Freeman. And when those opportunities started missing, suddenly Freeman was able to uh, get out and run away with that. Foul on Eric Olson, his first, team's first. 4.40 to play here in the opening period. Still just that 3 nothing score. Line up the three on the left side, and in and out, and a rebound saved in. Nice hustle play there by Seth Maxson. 
excuse me, no, 35. That was Zeleny. Beg your pardon. And that is Zeleny. Goes right to the rim, off the back, can't get it to go. The defensive rebound for Braden Clover of Southern. Dribble drive baseline, fortunate to go off the leg of, uh, of a Timberwolf as Nick Lyons went baseline there. Jacob Shepardson. Just to the left side of your screen there, you see longtime Exeter Milligan coach, Dean Phillippe. Dean's been coaching so long, it was back when it was just Milligan and Exeter. You know, you know when he actually had one school in a town. Hasn't happened for a while, but uh, Dean's been doing a lot of coaching over a lot of years. That's a nice little leaning shot by Sadoff. He's got all five for Southern here in this first period. Four and a half minutes gone and still not a point on the board for extra Milligan and not going to get free throws there. It looked like it maybe was on a shot, but they're going to call it on the floor. Drake Adams picks up his first, set, uh, first team foul. Uh, from down on the floor, we like that camera shot now and then. Murphy gets it to the high post, a little 10-footer there for Pribble, no good. The rebound, last touch, tried to save it back in was uh, Shepardson, couldn't quite keep it in there. Murphy has it at the top of the key. Hands it back to Eric Olson. Nice defense by Southern so far in this ball game. Some pretty good passing and, and cutting by Extra Milligan, but hasn't resulted in somebody getting an open shot. Finally, a, a close range shot. But it's missed. It was put up by Pribble. And now the Raiders with that five-point lead in the basketball. A drive and a dish. And the three rattles out for Trownick. And a foul on the rebound. Going to be whistled against Jake uh, Shepardson. Timeout going to be taken by Exeter Milligan. It's a 30-second timeout. Austin, I think this is a perfect opportunity to let people know about the Strive app. It's been available on the iOS devices, iPhones and iPads and the such, for a little over a year. But just recently, the newest development now available on your Android device. So you can get it in Google Play. You can download it from the App Store. Download that app. Select your favorite schools, and you will get a notification on your device when that school has gone live with their stream. So you will never miss another game. Johnson County Central is now streaming live. Ding! And if you're like me or Taylor, you, you, you select every school, all 85 of them. And on Friday night or Tuesday night or whatever night you might be watching, that there's a lot of games or activities or whatever, all of a sudden about 6 o'clock, ding, 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 ding. Here comes all the games. So awesome to, uh, to download that and never miss another game with the Strive app. Also get the latest content from strivesports.com as well. Southern turning up the heat on defense. Exeter Milligan breaks it for the time being. Olsen with his dribble, guarded closely by Shepardson. Gets all the way to the rim and lays it in. A nice move by Eric Olsen. A spot up three comes up well short, put up by Shepardson, and here come the Timberwolves. This is Olsen taking it from the left side off the glass, no good. Zeleny had a tip at it, but couldn't get it to fall. Bodies on the floor, now we've got a run out ahead. The layup falls in there for Sadoff. Trevin Sadoff has all seven points for Southern here in the first period. Their lead is five, it's seven to two. Olsen was open for a moment on the block, but couldn't get it. Maxson's got it, now back to Olsen on the left side. 
Cribble at the top. And a three from the right wing is good for Seth Maxson. First three of the game for Seth. 7-5 our score. On the wing on the left side, that three was no good by Drake Adams, and Patrick Murphy pulls down the rebound. The lob down low was supposed to go to Pribble, but Olsen was there to catch it, actually. Now Eric's got it again between the circles and says, all right, fellas, let's try something different this time. Nicely done down low, oh, but Pribble missed it from very close range. And Nick Lyons pulls down the rebound, an opportunity missed, late seconds, first quarter, now with officially three on our game clock. In for Southern comes Trownick. And number two, Carson Borzakowski. There's Carson. A lot of letters in that last name. Uh, well, it didn't have to be a catch and shoot. And that's how we're going to end the first quarter. Southern seven, extra Milligan five at the end of one. The boys' B Division championship from the Mudecus basketball tournament. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment. Com. Start of the second quarter, Southern 7, Exeter Milligan 5, the B Division Boys Championship game of the Mudecus Basketball Tournament. Thanks for joining us here in Beatrice, the old city auditorium. The 89th edition of the Mudecus Tournament as Zeleny gets another close range shot but can't get that to fall. And he was the last to touch it on the way out of bounds. So. A couple of close range shots for the Timberwolves in their last few possessions, but they haven't been able to find the net on either of them. Drake Adams has it on the left side, splits a double team all the way to the block and fouled on the way up. Drake Adams is going to shoot the first two free throws of the contest. Checking in for Exeter Milligan comes Trevor Zelenka. Trevor replaces Eric Olson, who surely will get a uh, quick breather. Getting a word from Coach Dean Phillippe real quick. As Adams makes both. And 9-5 R score. Lions knocks that one out. It will stay with the uh, Timberwolves there. Don't forget, you'll see the rest of the games here at the Beatrice Auditorium today, right here on strivesports.com. We'll have the third place games in the A division, both girls and boys, and then the championship games coming up later tonight. Of course, with the, uh, the snow, they're selling it again from close range, but can't hit. Murphy will try the three and hit it. So clearly the, the issue for Extra Milligan is they're just shooting it from too close. You know, it's tougher to make that, that two-footer than it is the 22-footer. B 
Baseline drive getting all the way to the rim. A nice drive by Trevin Sadoff, who's got nine of his team's 11 points. And Southern back in front by three. Murphy top of the key to the left side for Zeleny. Now dump down low, Pribble is there over the double team. He's fouled on the shot. Very impressed with Exeter Milligan and their uh, ability to get guys open all of a sudden. We said that was, uh, you know, for early in that first quarter, about the first half of the quarter, uh, I was really impressed with Southern's defense and their pressure and, and ability to kind of keep Exeter Milligan away from the rim. Last half of the first quarter and the first couple minutes, this second quarter, Exeter Milligan has gotten shots at the rim and just haven't fallen. Well for two there, but an offensive rebound and another opportunity. Murphy has it. Now Zeleny top of the key. Left corner down low. There's Zeleny. Got that one and a foul. Well, you just kind of have the feeling that if one falls, then the next six or seven of these in a row are going to fall. Extra Milligan with a chance to tie it. As that is the first foul on Braden Clover. His first and the team's fourth. The free throw by Zeleny is good. So Max gets his first three points of the contest. And 11 to 11. That three will not fall, but an offensive rebound and a foul, and Drake Adams going back to the free throw line. Max Zeleny picks up the foul, his first, team's third. Barsikovsky in for Wymore. Wymore, Southern, sorry. When I was in school, we always called him Wymore Southern. It was on the banner in the gym, even. Now it's just Southern, though. A three in the corner. Doesn't matter how you say that. That one not quite good for Seth Maxson. And here come the Raiders. Adams on the left wing. Tries to dump it down low and a foul from behind on Spencer Pribble. His first, team's fourth. Four team fouls each way so far in this first half. Pretty clean and moving right along, which you kind of like to see if you're a, a fan of a tournament that's got, you know, this is number five out of, uh, or this is number two, I should say, number two out of six games to be played here at the auditorium here today. So, yeah, if things move along quickly, that's okay with us. Jacob Shepardson just picked up his second personal foul on that rebound. Fifth team foul against the Raiders. As Ellen, he tried to go backside, but threw it away. That's just the second turnover on the trip. Timberwolves, and maybe I haven't been paying close enough attention to him, but I don't have any on Southern. No, no, no steals for extra Milligan, no violations just yet. Some rebounds that they probably should have had maybe that went out of bounds, but nothing that is technically a turnover. Hopping down the lane, that drive is good for Drake Adams. Drake scoreless in the first quarter, but he's come on with five points here in the second. His team has a three-point lead and a foul as Zeleny was in the block. First foul on Sadoff, the sixth on Southern. Going down the lane, uh, the layup, though, will not fall for Maxson. Here come the Raiders the other way. Cross court, Barsikovsky hands it off. This is a dribble drive by Sadoff under the hoop. Maybe too close to the rim, and now we've got a jump ball on the rebound. 
And the possession arrow points the way of Southern. Getting the inbounds play from head coach Zach Emerson. A drive and a kick and an open shot for Trowerneck. No. Well, he turned it down. Boy, he had it right where he wanted it. Instead, Adams with the dribble drive. Can't get the shot, though. And Zeleny clears the rebound for the Timberwolves. Looking to cut into a three-point deficit halfway through this second quarter. Pribble to Murphy. There's Zeleny on the block. His pass backside is picked off. Trying to run, but that will be the first turnover of the game for Southern. And a timeout for Exeter Milligan. Coach Dean Phillippe wants a full timeout. We do as well. A three-point lead for Southern when we come back to Beatrice. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home. Back to the action, a three-point lead for Southern here in the B Division Championship of the Mudecus Basketball Tournament. Thanks for joining us today on Strivesports.com. Exeter Milligan pounding the ball in the paint, getting guys open down there. Hasn't been a lot of made shots from close range, though. Something that Coach Phillippe surely is uh, not quite so happy with. But the ability to get the ball into the post has been very good for the Timberwolves. Maybe just a matter of time, but that one a little miscommunication, kind of a fastball there as Maxson couldn't quite hang on. Fourth turnover of the game for the Timberwolves. Trailing by three with 3.15 to go here in the opening half. Adams top of the key on the dribble drive. A little hop, stop and fade away, no good. And the rebound for Maxson. Now Pribble on the cut, but it's taken away. Sadoff jumped in front there. Fourth turnover of the quarter and fifth for the game. For extra Milligan, back-to-back -back possessions that end in a turnover. And a timeout going to be taken, a 30-second timeout by Southern coach uh, Zach Emerson. So don't forget, coming up later on today, the next game you will see here on strivesports.com is the uh, B Division, excuse me. Yeah, the girls' B Division Championship. Sterling and Southern. Am I reading that right? Two forty-five scheduled to be the B Division Championship, Sterling and Southern. And then at 4.15, the A boys third place game, Johnson, Brock, and BDS. 5.45 will be the A girls championship, Sacred Heart and Meridian, and Sacred Heart and Freeman in the boys A division championship at 7.30 tonight. Pribble pulls down a rebound and gets the pass off as he's fallen down. Timberwolves on the run, but knocked out of bounds by Sadoff. Exeter Milligan is in the bonus for the rest of this half if they can find themselves 
getting in the free throw line. Oh, stepping on the line as he caught it was Zelenka that time. And well, when he mentioned that Extra Milligan and Southern had both been very good at not turning the ball over, suddenly Extra Milligan has five turnovers in the quarter. Adams will fade away in the lane, got it to go. Seven points for Drake Adams all in this quarter. And Southern extends the lead to five. Just under two minutes to go here in the first half. Maxson lines up a three, will not fall. And Adams collects the rebound. Now a good chance at a run out opportunity. Nobody went with Carson Borzakowski. And Southern has their largest lead of the game at 18 to 11 with a minute and a half to go here in the first half. Murphy, double team, kicks it out. That's Zelenka with his dribble from Murphy on the right wing. Now Patrick gets a seal, goes to the rim, missed the layup again, and a foul on the rebound. Oh, these close range shot for Exeter Milligan just will not fall right now. The second foul on Max Zeleny. Johnny Babula into the ball game. As he replaces Zeleny in the Timberwolf lineup. Just over a minute to go here in the opening half, a seven point Southern lead. Close to a travel there, but not quite for Sadoff. Adams lines up the three that goes long, and Pribble pulls down the rebound. Maxson takes it, hands it back to Zelenka. 30 seconds to go. Babula had position, couldn't get it though. Now they want Pribble. Spins away from the double team and finally a close range shot goes. Spencer Pribble puts it in for Exeter Milligan. That, that was close. He got his feet down to Drake Adams, just barely the official Watching closely as a three goes up at the buzzer, but will not fall. It was a good look there for Sadoff. And at the end of the first half, it is Southern 18, Exeter Milligan 13. During halftime, we will have some uh, scoring stats, let you know the rest of the schedule for the rest of the day from the Mudecus Basketball Tournament. Come back to Beatrice with us on strivesports.com. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment. Com. Truck Center Companies, keeping America's truck industry on the road. I feel that Truck Center Companies focuses on your strengths and then puts you in a role so you can utilize those strengths. Absolutely, your career, your career can grow here. I came on and I started here as a service advisor um, and I've been promoted to service manager. Um, I hire diesel techs all the time. 
and I hire them straight out of school. I hire them with opportunities. I hire them with uh, career growth and development. You can start at the bottom and you can be a foreman. That's just how we grow here at, at Truck Center Companies. I've been with the company for about 15 years and one of the great things about working here is that our philosophy has always been what, if it's right for the customer, it's right for us. And so for employees that want to come work for us, they know that when they come here, they, they have the latitude to do what they need to do, what's right. And, and work hard, you're going to go somewhere with us. Truck Center Companies get you where you want to be. It's going to utilize your strengths and help you succeed.
So getting ready for the start of the second half, individual scoring in that first half. First for Extra Milligan, Eric Olson with two, Spencer Pribble with two, Patrick Murphy three, Seth Maxson three, Max Zeleny with three. For Southern, they got nine points from Trevin Sadoff, including seven in the first quarter. Also seven from Drake Adams, all in the second quarter. Two from Carson Borzakowski. Accounts for the 18 scored by the Southern Raiders. Clover just picked up his second personal foul there for Southern. So uh, obviously with a score 18-13, we didn't see a whole lot of offensive rhythm. So first team to, uh, to get that rhythm, and that's a good way to start. Seth Maxson with a shot at the rim. That's the other thing. Extra Milligan did a really nice job after about halfway through that first quarter, they started getting guys open at the rim, and they just could not hit real short layup type shots. And it was, I'm sure, something of frustration if you're a Timberwolf fan. Um, but at the same time, you got to take a little bit of heart that you know, if if some of these layups start falling, boy, we can we can go on a run pretty quickly, and we'll see if uh, th this changes at all. And, as soon as we start the second half, now they're two for two from real close range. Spencer Pribble talks down the two-point shot as well. So real quick to start the third quarter, extra Milligan within one. Now a ball kicked around down there, and it's taken away. Eric Olson looking to go the length of the floor, and he lays it in for the left side. Six straight in a minute 10 for extra Milligan to start the second period. Timeout for Southern. Well, that's a Timberwolf team that looks like they play 11-2 uh, and two type basketball on their season. Well done there for the Timberwolves. And a good look inside their bench uh, with head coach Dean Phillippe. And Wymore Southern over there with uh, Zach Emerson as well. Don't forget more games. we got four more games coming up for you today. 2.45, the scheduled start for Sterling and Southern in the B Girls Championship game. Uh, and then we will have the Boys A Division third place game, Johnson Brock and BDS. Well, BDS had that uh, thriller yesterday with the number one seed in the tournament, uh, Fall City Sacred Heart. It went double overtime before Sacred Heart finally won it, 60 to 52. Uh, Johnson Brock just never could get the Freeman 131 zone defense figured out as they fell to the Falcons. So that championship of Sacred Heart and Freeman will be later on tonight. That'll be our nightcap, the last one of the tournament, in fact. Block shot by Pribble goes out of bounds, but the 6-0 run in the first minute 10 is where the uh, points came. Gives Extra Milligan their first lead of the contest. As Zeleny got that one deflected, couldn't quite intercept it though. Six turnovers in that first half, four extra Milligan, five of them came in the second quarter, but uh, just one for Southern. Drake Adams along the left side, can't get it, but an offensive rebound, the putback no good. In fact, it was blocked by Murphy, and now we've got a jump ball. And we're gonna stay at the end of the Raiders. Nick Lyons into the ball game. Adams gets into the lane, kicks it out. That's Shepardson for a three, no good. And an offensive rebound, Adams up and under, off the glass, no, another chance, and finally it goes down for Braden Clover. And Clover has his first points of the game and gives Southern the lead again. And a foul quickly at the other end. And it's Braden Clover with the foul, so that's three on Braden. He's got both of them here in the second half. And Shepardson comes out as uh, uh, Trownick comes in. 
for the Raiders. Uh, pass into no man's land down there. This is Trowneck, blocked but fouled by Olsen. Excuse me, Drake Adams. No, it was Trowneck, excuse me, 12. Trowneck with the uh, free throws coming. Speaking of free throws, Southern was three for four at the free throw line in the first quarter. First half, I should say. Extra Milligan, just one of three. Trevor Zelenka checked in for Extra Milligan as well. A one-point lead, and still a one-point lead. That is off of Southern and an Extra Milligan team rebound. Johnson Brock boys arriving here at the Municipal Auditorium in Beatrice for their game later on today. They'll be in the A boys third place game as they get ready to take on BDS. Deflected pass against a little half court trap and then a reach in foul called. They're gonna get Drake Adams for the foul. That's the second on Drake and the third on Southern. Nick Lyons checks in for Southern. Pribble takes the high low, but blocked from behind. Well done by Sadoff to avoid the foul and get the block shot. Here come the Raiders up one. That's Sadoff, can't get it. But an offensive rebound for Adams. Drake splits a double team, lays it in. Nine points in the game for Drake Adams. And the lead back to three for Southern. That 6-0 run happened in the first minute and a half of this game, minute, tw minute 10, I should say. But it's been over 220 since Exeter Milligan has put a point on the board. Good hard drive by Sadoff, but the shot no good. Pribble the rebound, and here come the Timberwolves. Murphy, baseline, draws three defenders around him. Gets it to Zeleny. Max kicks it out. Turns into the lane and kind of lost it right out to Zelenka. Pribble top of the key, Murphy. Pretty good defense by Southern, not allowing Extra Milligan to have any open looks. On the block, Zeleny, a little jump hook with the right hand will not fall. And the defensive rebound for Trownick. Adams goes for the hop step, redirected it on the way up, but an offensive putback by Shadoff. Timeout, Extra Milligan. Full timeout for Coach Philippi. Full timeout for us as well. Southern has reclaimed the lead by five with 3.27 to go in the third. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too, our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell. Foul away from the ball as we pick up action here as uh, Zeleny was trying to post up. And they are going to get Shepardson. That is Shepardson's third, already four fouls whistled against Southern here in this third quarter. Yeah. 
Baseline drive, Olsen all the way to the rim. Beautifully done there by Eric Olsen. He's got six points, four here in the quarter. Extra Milligan had gone after that minute 10 spurt where they scored six in a row to take the lead. That's their first points in four minutes. From the elbow, a nice answer back by Borzakowski. Carson knocked that one in, pushed the lead right back to five with two and a half minutes to go in the third. B Division Championship for the boys at the Mudecus Basketball Tournament. Thanks for joining us on strivesports.com. Along the baseline, Murphy's got it. Now Maxson and Olsen between the circles. There's the effectiveness. Zeleny can't get it to go, but he'll shoot a couple at the free throw line. First personal foul on Carson Borsakowski. That is the fifth team foul on Southern. And Zeleny knocks down the free throw. Max has four points, looking for five here momentarily. That won't happen, but he does track down his own rebound. Uh, good hustle there by Max. And then open is Maxson, and he knocks it down. That's Seth Maxson. Eight points now for Seth. He's got a couple of threes, and it's a one-point game again with a minute 49 to go in the second, in the third quarter, I should say. Second half, third quarter, somewhere in there. And I think we might get a foul on Max in here. Like, yep, that's what happened. It's Seth's first, just the second on Exeter Milligan. In and out for the three by Sadoff. And an offensive rebound, another crack at it for Southern. That's Borzakowski, his shot no good. And Patrick Murphy, the rebound. We've lost our switching capabilities for just a moment here, folks. Hang in there with us. Ball out of bounds goes to Southern. Southern is able to hit that three. Yeah. Yep, we're, we're minus some switching capabilities at the moment, so we're kind of stuck here for just a second. Southern with the basketball and a one-point lead with 33 seconds to go in the third. Now to slow things down, maybe one final shot. Adams has it over to the left side for Nick Lyons. Eight seconds to go. Adams draws a reach-in foul on Maxson. Be the second on Seth, and with five seconds left in the third, an inbounds play under their hoop for Southern. Underneath the Lions, off his hands and out of bounds, a turnover. One second left for Exeter Milligan. Not going to try it. Off we go to the fourth quarter. Southern by one, but Exeter Milligan, a little bit more rhythm. They scored 12 points in that quarter after they scored 13 the entire first half. So the fourth quarter for the B Division Championship is coming up next. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. 
We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment. Com. Start of the fourth quarter, Southern gave up the lead just momentarily when Extra Milligan scored the first six points of the third quarter in about a minute ten is all it took them. And now they've given it up again. A nice save by Zeleny right in to Seth Maxson, who knocks down his third three of the game. Seth has 11 points to lead the Timberwolves, and Extra Milligan is back in the lead. This, by the way, is their largest lead of the game. They led it by one in the early goings of the third quarter. Trevin Sadoff hands it back to Nick Lyons. Nick trying to go baseline. Long bounce pass. Now Sadoff, a step back three. Max in the rebound. Olsen drives, Zeleny lines it up off the front. Max drives and grabs his own rebound. The Southern faithful with the chant of defense. Pribble from close range can't finish. Adams clears the rebound. Now into the lane, we've got a scrum for it. And a good flip out there, Pribble flipped it to Murphy. Patrick Murphy down the right side with a layup and it's good! Patrick Murphy does just his second field goal of the game and a four point Timberwolf lead. A drive hang and a chance at three from Sadoff. Sadoff had seven in the first quarter. In fact, he had all seven of Southern's points in the first quarter. Quiet since then. He's gotten a basket in the second quarter, a basket in the third. Now he's got a basket in the fourth and trying for a three-point play. That foul was on Patrick Murphy, which is his first and the team's fourth. Free throw, though, does not fall. So still a two-point Timberwolf lead. Now Murphy goes baseline, stops. Underneath, Pribble open, cannot finish. Offensive rebound, Olsen, Eric puts it in. Olsen with eight points, the lead back to four for Exeter Milligan. They were down one to start this fourth quarter. Already a seven to two start in the period for Exeter Milligan. In the lane, that'll be a foul. The shot does not fall, but Drake Adams will shoot a couple of free throws. Four extra milligan, four, excuse me, for Southern. Drake has nine points so far. He is three of four at the free throw line in the ball game. Don't forget the Southern girls are coming up next. You'll see them take on Sterling in the B Division Championship. You can watch it right here on strivesports.com. Sam, I will defer in that girls' championship, the B championship. I'll let you have that one, okay? Okay. You are the man. An 0 for trip, though, at the foul line. Southern comes away empty-handed. Here comes Eric Olson on the left side. Now Seth Maxson has it for Zeleny, for Murphy.
Oh, tried to get it down low, and it went through Cribble and Olsen. Trevin Sadoff comes in for Southern as uh, Braden Clover goes to the bench. 4.50 to go. Fourth quarter, a four-point Timberwolf lead. That's their largest lead of the game. Get it to the high post. Adams has it now. Sadoff. Lions on the hop step. Can't finish. Pribble the rebound. Baseline drive, Maxson wraps it around. And now Olsen's got it. He'll reset things from the top. Olsen, hard drive, can't get it to finish. And the rebound out of bounds off of Lyons. And right back into the game comes Clover as he replaces Trarnik. Lyons steps in front to knock that one away. And into the backcourt, just a little, just a bad pass there, it goes as a turnover. Maybe I just haven't been paying close enough attention on the turnovers. I have one turnover on Southern in the game, and that was the first turnover of the second half against Exeter Milligan. They've only got seven for the game, but they had six or five of them in the second quarter. It has been a remarkably no turnover game. And a full timeout gonna be taken by Exeter Milligan coach Dean Phillippe. So he's got one timeout in his pocket for the final 340. We'll step aside as well here on strivesports.com. A four point Timberwolf lead in the B Division Championship. Nova Fitness Equipment of Omaha has provided the very best weight room, track and field, and sports surfacing products for over 30 years in Nebraska. They provide Cybex, Matrix Fitness, Vertimax, Tough Stuff, Pro Elite, Stairmaster, York Barbell, Troy Barbell, and UCS track and performance products. From rubber flooring, strength equipment, cardio products, and sports performance accessories, Nova Fitness Equipment has what you need to make your athletic program successful. Contact Nova Fitness Equipment today at their home office in Omaha or online at Nova Fitness Equipment. Com. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown. Four point Timberwolf lead as we be get back into the fourth quarter. About three and a half minutes to go in the period. Southern has gone to a zone look. Haven't seen a lot of zone out of Southern in the ball game. Actually, it might be more of a box and one on Olsen trying to deny the point guard or get the ball out of the point guard's hands. Well, maybe not. They're just, just chasing a little bit. Pass to the backside. Oh. Tried to get it down to Pribble, and Lyons steals it away. So back to the other end we go. Underneath a drive, the shot, no. The rebound by Clover. Out to Adams, and we're good, and it's a one-point game. Timeout, Southern. Full timeout taken by Southern. This is a good opportunity to let you know about the Strive app. Yes, it's been on the iOS devices for the last year, but just recently, the Android version became available. Put it on your, uh, get it on your Google Play, you can get it from the App Store. Download the Strive app, select your favorite schools, and never miss another game. You can also get content straight from strivesports.com as well. So check it out today, the Strive app in the Google Play Store and the App Store.
Fancy Marcus. Southern uh, trailing Exeter Milligan by one here. This game has been close throughout. Five point lead at the half for Southern, 18 to 13. Exeter Milligan scored the first six of the third quarter to take a one point lead at one point. And then by the time the quarter was over, it was 26 25 Southern. Exeter Milligan was out 7 to 2 in this quarter to see Southern come back within one. So 240 to play. Just one timeout remaining for Exeter Milligan, two remaining for Southern for the final two and a half minutes of this contest. Now Murphy double teamed in the corner, has it stripped. And a quick jump ball is the call, and it's going to be a turnover as it goes to Southern. So sat off, and now Adams will bring it up for Southern, looking for the lead with a little over two minutes to go in the fourth. Last year, we were treated to a buzzer beater by Micah Erickson of Sterling, and that's a three by Nick Lyons of Southern. In fact, the last two years have seen a buzzer beater to win the B division for the boys. This one sets up like it might be uh, something similar. Southern back in front with a minute 50 to go. The zone look has definitely slowed down Exer Milligan. Pribble at the high post, throws it backside for Murphy to Olsen. Dumps it backside for Max and can't finish at the rim again. How many times has that happened tonight? And a foul underneath. No shot, it's gonna be on the floor, not in the bonus yet. But it is on Braden Clover. Sixth team foul of the half, so Exeter Milligan will be in the bonus for the rest of the way. Murphy takes the inbounds, double team comes and they just put him at the foul line. Drake Adams gonna be whistled for the foul. And that will send Patrick Murphy to the free throw line for a one and one with a minute 24 to go. And a foul on the rebound as Max Zeleny got, uh, got a hand up in the face of Drake Adams. It's the third on Max, and that's the sixth on Exeter Milligan. So Southern going to be in the bonus for the rest of the way. Minute 23 to go, fourth quarter. Here comes the half-court trap by the Timberwolves. Broken by Southern. Timeout for Coach Zach Emerson. Full time out with a minute 13 to go. We'll step aside as well and be back to Beatrice. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Back here at the Mudecas Tournament, a 34-32 lead for Southern, and they've got the basketball. Coming out of their timeout, both teams have one timeout left. We mentioned uh, the last two years, winners at the buzzers for uh, Sterling. Back in 2015, Palmyra, Pawnee City won the B Division in 2014, and it was these Southern Raiders that won this B Division back in 2013. What transpires in the final minute 10 of this one? The Raiders with a two-point lead. Question one, how does Exeter Milligan play? It looks like extended man. And baseline drive, getting to the rim. The shot will not fall. The rebound pulled down by Pribble. 
A chance to tie or take the lead for the Timberwolves. Olsen bounces it to Murphy. Pribble at the high post, back out for Olsen. Eric down the lane, kicks it for Maxson for three in the lead. Got it! With 30 seconds to go, Exeter Milligan by one. One timeout each way, and Southern's going to take it here. So a full timeout and a game reset brought to you by Truck Center Companies. Back in the first quarter, seven points scored by Trevin Sadoff of Southern. He had all seven of his team's points. They led seven to five. At the half, 18-13, the Raiders were on top as Drake Adams scored all seven of his points in that second quarter. Third quarter saw Exeter Milligan score the first six points of the period in the first minute 10, only to see Southern come back and have the lead at the end of the third, 26-25. Exeter Milligan scored a 7-2 run to start this fourth quarter, then saw Southern come back and take the lead, and now you just saw moments ago the three-pointer by Seth Maxson to give Exeter Milligan a one-point lead with 23 seconds left. So how does Southern and Coach Zach Emerson want to play this? Do you play for one shot and that's it? You win it or you go home? Or do you go for a quick shot and maybe, in theory, get two possessions at this thing. That's Adams posting up on Olsen down in the block. It was kicked, though, by Zeleny with 17 seconds left. And trying for the same thing on the sideline, but boy, they know Drake Adams is the is the guy they want. That's Tronic. Seven seconds to go up top. Sadoff with it. Backside for Adams. Now Sadoff. Baseline. Up. No good. Exeter Milligan wins on the miss at the buzzer by Southern. Medals coming up next. Congratulations to the Timberwolves of Exeter Milligan. They improved to 12 and two on their season. Southern falls to eight and six overall. When the medals are done, we'll give you the updated individual scoring for the end of the game. Thank you. 
Congratulations indeed. The Timberwolves win it. The three-pointer by Seth Maxson with 30 seconds left proves to be the difference as Southern got a good shot up from Trevin Sadoff, but it would not find the bottom of the net. 35-34, Exeter Milligan takes the win. Individual scoring today for the Southern Raiders. Uh, Nick Lyons finishes with three. Carson Borsakowski with four. Drake Adams finishes with 12. Trevin Sadoff, 13. Braden Clover with two for the Raiders. Southern just three of six at the free throw line. Not that Extra Milligan was a lot better. They were two for six at the free throw line. Individual scoring for the Timberwolves. Eric Olson with eight. Spencer Pribble with four. Patrick Murphy, five. Max Zeleny with four. And Seth Maxson, four threes, including the uh, deciding points with 30 seconds left. Finished with 14 points for the Timberwolves. Outscored Southern in the fourth quarter, did they? 10-8, uh, so keep that in mind. They scored 
They had the 7-0 run in the first three minutes of the fourth quarter and uh, then didn't score again until that three with, a, with 30 seconds left by Maxson. So that brings us to our next game coming up. It will be the girls' B division championship. Sterling taking on Southern. So back-to-back -back for the Southern Raiders for their day here at the auditorium. Sam of Johnson County Central will take you through that one, and we'll talk about the uh, all-tournament teams for the boys here. We get that. Let's, uh, let's see if we can read the first team. Well, it's all these guys that were in this game, right? Uh, on the first team for the boys' B division, Patrick Murphy of Exeter Milligan, Drake Adams of Southern, Eric Olson of Eric Exeter Milligan, Trevin Sadoff of Southern, and Max Zeleny of Exeter Milligan. Those uh, five make up the first team, all tournament team for the boys B division. So the girls B division championship is coming up next. You can keep it right here on strivesports.com. Or there are, we might be back in a few minutes as well. Uh, reset a few things to get ready for that girls B division championship coming up next. 